Hey guys, it's Jess from Peace Love Books, and I'm coming to you at a different angle today because I am in front of my entire mass market collection. It's all over here. And I'm super excited for the historical romance readathon that's happening starting on the 16th, going through the 22nd. I'm hosting that with my best friends, Lacey and Lisa. I'm the only one without an L name. Sorry, I couldn't make it a fun little trio of L names. But I already posted my announcement that I had my TBR in, but I wanted to do something now that still promotes the readathon. So I thought I would go through my historical romance collection, kind of organize it, kind of tell you guys like authors I love and that I've been collecting because when I get a new book I just kind of like stuff it in here so my authors aren't together which I don't like so typically my shelves are put together by genre and then by author so my authors aren't together over here and I did buy a few new ones yesterday that are over there in my TBR cart I put them on the bottom shelf for when I need to do book hauls so they aren't gonna be on here so you're gonna have to think about making room for those but I'm gonna go ahead and just like start pulling books out and organizing them by author talking to you about them and this is gonna be a chatty video about my historical romances okay so let me take this first because this one like, I did not even know my Lisa Kleypas books were back here. These are three deep on these shelves, and I, my Lisa Kleypas are over here, too, and I didn't know they were over here, so I could be buying the same things. I don't know. I bought one yesterday at Half Price Books, and Lisa was like, don't you have that one? And I was like, do I? I don't know. That's why I'm going through them. So I have a lot of Joanna Lindsay books. They are... I have some Kerrigan Burn in this pile, too. So many. I did buy two yesterday or one yesterday as well. So I have a lot. These are all historical Joanna Lindsay books. I don't know. These are not all the ones that I own, though. So I'm always nervous that I'm going to buy the same ones. But these covers are just everything. I love Step Backs, and I'm super excited for this one. It is a pirate romance. I don't know if you see the cover. There you go. And I am obsessed with looking at Step Backs of all these romances. So hopefully these are showing up. Like, look how amazing all of these covers are. Classic bodice ripping historical romances. So I try to collect Joanna Lindsay's because she is a classic historical romance author. I don't know what any of these are about, but in that stack were two of my Kerrigan Byrne books. Have not read this one. I did enjoy this one. This one I think was her newest historical romance, but I have more sitting. Okay, so here are three more Kerrigan Byrne books. I don't remember which ones I own of hers. Um, I am missing a couple, but I thought I had another one somewhere. I do. Okay, so I have another one stuck randomly in another pile. So I want all of her books together. I was going to order one because I'm trying to support some local bookstores during this time because nobody's going to be shopping and it's going to really hurt some businesses. So I'm going to place an order with The Rip Bodice and one of the books I'm going to get is Loretta Chase, Lord of Scoundrels. I will link The Rip Bodice down below. They're located in California. They are primarily a romance bookstore. So I'm going to order a couple books from them today because I can because I'm not losing any salary during this time. So And my signing is canceled and I would have spent over $100 on books there. So I, I'm fine. But my Kerrigan Burn collection, I I love The Highwaymen, and then the one I also read was The Duke with the Dragon Tattoo, even though this is book like four or five in the series, and oh, I didn't know I had this one. I don't know what I buy. I just buy them when I see them at Half Price Books and call it a day. So those authors are together, and then the question is do I put them in order of the series? Because I don't remember, but I don't read them in order. I have a random Lisa Kleypas here. Should we start with her? Let's go ahead and pull out Lisa Kleypas. So, all of these are Lisa. Let's move these out of the way. See? More! It's like a never-ending pile of books. So, I have these, and I'm pretty sure I probably own duplicates, but um, I really love the covers of the originals of these because they include their step backs. They have new ones of this series. It's Devil in Winter. I think I did buy Devil in Winter. I don't know what series go with what for Lisa Kleypas. I have Devil in Spring, Marrying Winterborn, the new one, Chasing Cassandra, which I read. And I read neither of these. I did read one of them in that series. So my more Lisa are here. And I probably have more somewhere else. Oh, I do. Okay. So, yeah. I knew I had more Lisa. Okay, I think these are all the Lisa books I have. Lisa was wrong. I don't already own Suddenly You, which I have over there. But I have Scandal in Spring, which I think goes with this series. 
maybe the wallflowers I think these are the wallflower series but this is the different cover and then I think I have the summer of course like I knew okay I have two copies of the same book they just have different covers this one goes with this series and it has the step back in it as well so uh, do I keep this one I have the other cover that I like, but I do like the colors of this cover, so I knew this was going to have it. I knew I was going to have multiples of these. I love Lisa Kleypas, though. So I also have Lady Sophia's Lover. Oh, look at that step back. Very pretty. Don't know what any of these are about. I am super excited about this series. So this series is one that Lacey recently read and loved, and so I do have the first two in this one, and so I'm going to read this one, I think, for the Historical Romance Readathon. So I'm going to set this aside. Should I? Yes. I'm going to set my TBR aside for now. I do have, I think, a Kerrigan Burn that I wanted to read. I did recently read this as well. I did get these two, I know for sure, to review, so that's why I have these two. And these are the newest in this series. This is my whole stack that I found so far, so that's fun. This video is going to be long. I'm already at seven minutes, and I'm not even... Oh, and then I have Devil in Winter. Why did I not pull this out? What is wrong with me? Two copies but that's because this one's the original and this one is the other one so I know what they look like so I'm like I don't remember seeing that cover before so I buy it and I already own it it's okay it's fine we're gonna be fine so then I have a lot of random ones I have a lot of Sarah McLean that is buried in there but I do have a lot of random ones if they look good I read them I have a ton of Eloisa James she was probably one of the first authors of historical romance that I read and loved so I collect her books every time I see them I collect them the longest so I have a ton from her I remember seeing these in the store with their little like sticker up here and just like really wanting them so I bought that too and I just literally cover buys if they look gorgeous I buy them like I'm also obsessed with pirate romances so if they have anything to do with pirates or pirate ships on the cover I'm like yes please this is velvet chains look how gorgeous that is <sighs> I don't even, I've never heard of this author. This is super long. This one's 500 pages. She, he's kidnapped the English beauty as ransom from an American patriot. So, um, this looks really good too. Like, why can't I buy these? And then they have a completely different couple on the back. I don't know if you can see that. That's hilarious. Like, I literally want to read 20 books for this readathon, but I can't. So, then I don't know, should I put all my pirate romances together if I don't have the same books by these authors? Sure. Let's go ahead and put all those together. Just all these really old classic historicals that I have will go in that stack. So, okay, I have a billion Sarah McLean books too that are not together. So let's move this. I should take out some random regular romances. I'll just put those in a separate section. I do love In Bed with a Highlander by Maya Banks so, so, so much. I love this. I got these two from Book Outlet because they looked super good. Like, look at those covers. Have not read them. Probably won't, but it's fine. I have all these. I don't know what order they go in. This one was the first one. And then I read this one, I think, and I didn't really like it. But this one is the third one, which I really want to read as well. But I also want to read this series. But I don't know which one's the first one in this series. Maya Banks writes such good historicals. Um, I'm assuming Never Seduces Scott. I think this is the first one. So I think this is the first one. So do I put this out or do I read book three in this series? I don't know. Which one's shorter? That sometimes is always the one that I decide to read. This one's over 400 pages. So I'll put this one on my TBR. Let's sit that over there. My TBR is always changed, so they're never going to be the same. I have to get the, th the other one in the series that I don't own, but I don't ever remember what it is. So those are my problems. I have a ton of Sarah McLean. I know Lacey loves Sarah McLean, and so I got all of these from... How? How? Oh, how? How do I own an arc of this book? And I had no idea. Where did this come from? From 2016? Did I get an arc of this and then buy the final cut? I don't... What... What am I doing? I don't know. But, like, I know these are really good. This is book two three and then one I would love to read a Sarah McLean book during this we'll see if I end up reading this but I just find books that are multiple copies that I had no idea let's find my other Sarah McLean books I have a lot um I don't I have Raising the Beast which I read it was cute 
but I have more in that series, but I don't know where I put them. So let's find them. Okay. I guess I don't have as many Sarah McLean as I thought. I think the only other one I have is Wicked in the Wallflower, which I know people love. Um, ooh, look at that step back. I just love the color of this. I don't know if she has that many other books, though. She might. I don't know. So I have this as well. Those will go there. Let's see. Okay. So I've been trying to find more Hannah Howe books as I got one. That sounds really, really good. Where is it? Found another Joanna Lindsay. Uh, this is the one that's the group book, so I'm going to set this aside as well. It's Hearts of Flame. I think it has to do with Vikings. But this one, she kidnaps a guy because her brother is kidnapped, and she falls in love with the guy she kidnaps, which sounds super cute. But I had no idea I owned another Hannah Howe book because I want to read some more Hannah Howe. Didn't know I own this, but this is really pretty. I'm sorry if this is annoying of me talking about all these romances that I had no idea that I owned. I know Lacey's going to read Flowers. I don't know what that is. From the Storm um, by this author. Um, this is just a super classic historical. I'm probably not going to read it because it's massive. It's 550 pages long. So I'm not going to read this for the readathon, but I do have this because it is a classic historical that I need to read. Some more gorgeous old historicals that I picked up. My Time Swept Heart, I'm pretty sure, is time traveling romance. So that's a lot of fun. This is the model that's on a lot of historicals. I know, I don't know what, oh, I think that's her too. I think this is her too. She's on a ton recently published ones. So yeah. That's her. I don't know where this is from. I think this might have been something I got for review. I do have a lot of Lenora Bell books, so I do get some from Book Outlet. And then I got this one for review. This one was really good. This is One Fine Duke. I love the cover too with all the flowers. Um, let's see. I have another one. Ooh, for the Duke's Eyes Only. I love Lenora Bell. I got a few of hers for review earlier on. And I have a bunch. So I have two more up here. I just, I'm finding even more that I didn't know over here. So these are more Lenora Bell. I think I've read one of these. I don't remember, but I love Lenora Bell as well. So I was saying that because I have another Joanna Lindsay. So that's going to go into my Joanna Lindsay stack. And then I do have a Loretta Chase book, which I didn't know that I own. I think I got this from Book Outlet though. And then um, Tessa Dare. Who did I just, I hope I just bought this. Yeah, this is that same girl, the same cover model as this one. And... What is the other one that I just had? Oh, this is the same model on all of these, which I think is so funny. Um, but yes, so she goes over there. I do love Tessa Dare. I want to read more of hers. I think this might be one that people love. So, um, oh, she's a daughter of an author. This sounds fun. I might put this on my TBR too, but we'll see. So I have Love with a Scottish Outlaw. If it has Scottish or Highlanders on it, I'ma love it, but I have not read anything by Gail Callan, I think. Um, more Eloisa James. I read this for a view, too. This was really cute. This is Say No to the Duke. Really like this one. Um, I do have some Julia Quinn as well, which I'm trying to collect because of her Duke and I Bridgerton series. Um, Teresa Medeiros, I think. She has some pretty classic historicals as well, so I'll put her aside. I need room for these. I read this and didn't like it, but I'm obsessed with the cover, so I kept this book issues I have. Um, Wild and Love, I got this whole series by Eloisa James because Lacey loves it. Haven't read it. This is not historical. Um, let's see what I have over here. More classic covers that I just collect. I love this one with all the flowers and then another one with a ship in the background. If it's got a ship on it, I'm gonna buy it. This one has a library in the background. I think this one had a character that was like bookish, so I really wanted this. Let's see. I'm not even like through all of them. What am I going to do with all of these? Like, I love these covers so much. Let's see. Anybody I need to take out of here? I'll just leave all these here. Oh, Lorraine Heath, I know I have a lot from. And I also have a lot of this series, uh, Sabrina York. So, yes. Where am I going to put all these? I don't know. Another historical romance that I have that I didn't remember buying. I haven't even gotten to some really good authors. So this is on my TBR. This is Karen Marie Moaning. Um, I have Kinley McGregor that I want to read and Tessa Dare and Beverly Jenkins. I have a lot of Beverly Jenkins books now. Let me find them. So ooh, another Joanna Lindsay I forgot I picked up. Look at that cover. Just yes. Um, another Kinley McGregor I made sure I had and then a random historical 
a lot of these are just going to end up in random piles, not by author. So I have more Tessa Dare, Eloisa James. Oh, I have Elizabeth Hoyt, too, who I love. So Tessa Dare. Where's Tessa Dare pile? Do I have a Tessa Dare pile? Um, Teresa Medeiros, which I do have a pile of, and another one of hers. Tessa Dare, Tessa Dare, Eloisa James, more Eloisa James. I have a ma I got to meet her, so I have a massive stack, and I brought the massive stack when I met her. I love the Wallflower Wager, so that's why I want to read uh, the Bride Test, the Duchess Deal. I want to read the Duchess Deal for that. Okay, so, oh, I didn't know I had that. So, Julia Quinn, I know I have. She's going to go in the Julia Quinn pile. Karen Marie Moaning, I have her whole series here. And then I didn't know I had this one, The Devil Wears a Kilt. The Devil Wears Kilt by Susan Enoch. I'm excited for that. I didn't know I had this. Well, cover's super pretty. I should have, like, uh, organized by, like, Scottish romances and, like, other ones, British. But I'm not, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I have all my Karen Marie Moaning books here because uh, I have her Highlander ones. And then I have her Dream Fever, Fever ones. But I think... I put them up here. So I don't know if I'm going to change where I put these. Yeah, because then I have this one up here too. So I, I don't know. I'll just set these aside for now. I do realize I had to put all these back when I'm done. Oh, I have more Teresa Medeiros here. Her there. So that's going to go there. Um, okay. We're going to see my massive Eloisa James collection. One, two, three. This is a bind up, so it has another one that's four. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> so many of her books. And I've maybe read like three of them. And I own this ridiculous stack of her romances. I really love the cover of this one though. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen Eloisa James books. And a lot of them are signed because I got to meet her and I owned like 10 when I got to meet her. Um, I do also own a lot of Vicki Drayling, some Lindsay Sands, and I have some Elizabeth Hoyt. I really do love Elizabeth Hoyt's books, so yeah, that's that. Um, I don't know what else I want to do right now. I do have a lot of Mary Balog too. Another Beverly Jenkins. I don't know where I put my Beverly Jenkins books. I don't have too many of these right now though. I do have Julia Quinn, another one, and then I have Lily Dalton, who I really love as well. Um, I don't know if I read all three of these or two of them, but I really enjoy her books. And yeah, <laughs> so I think that's, oh, I've heard really good things though about Brenda Joyce. I think I read one of hers like 10 years ago when I was first getting into historicals. I think I read The Masquerade. I don't remember, but... I think that's all I'm going to do right now. I am surrounded by books. I'm going to figure out how I want to put these back. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any more historical romance authors that you love. I would love to hear. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.